Welcome back everyone, it has been a minute, but the Planetside 2 team has been cooking up something in the background. So on this developer note, they have a section called Looking Ahead on Alerts and Capturing War Zones. So that is what we are going to dive into today. So they said, one of the ways we feel the game has room to grow is with the Alert and War Zone Capture system. Now ideally this system is there to represent a snapshot of the campaign where players must cooperate and anticipate their opponent's actions making decisions about what objectives to prioritize and how much to commit to them. The alert system and the way war zones are captured have several key issues, and they list off a few bulletin points here. The system is rigid, with only a single alert able to be active at once. Only a single alert outcome can lead to the capture of a war zone. Much of the diversity of the system has been removed with, other than some special events, only meltdown alerts remain. There is a lack of interesting decision making on a map wide scale currently which base to attack or defend is really the only decision of consequence. So what would a rework achieve? Now ultimately the alert system should give purpose to the smaller tactical actions players take, such as capturing a base. Having a more diverse set of goals, something other than paint the map, has several benefits. It creates dilemmas that present interesting choices to players on a group and individual level. It encourages coordination between faction members. Um, I don't know if the Planetside 2 team has ever listened to uh, the faction <laughs> faction comms. They should try that. And it gives more players immediate purpose and direction, and it prevents losing factions from despairing by opening up avenues for catch-up mechanics. So how will this new system work? So this is the good stuff here. Currently, a war zone is captured directly through the alert system. There is a single alert, and the winning faction captures the war zone. Only this alert has any meaning when it comes to determining who owns the currently open continent. The experience has been further degraded by the removal of nearly all alerts other than a meltdown due to the way they interrupted the basic flow of the game. Now with the new system, capturing a war zone will no longer be totally contingent on the winner of a single alert, but instead the winner will conquer it via a more flexible system that can account for combinations of objectives. So stick with me here. Alerts will be divided into two categories. We're gonna have strategic and tactical. So strategic alerts are longer running and relevant throughout the entire war zone. They give players their primary purpose and an overarching objective. Only one strategic alert can be active at a time and it provides the primary amount of capture weight towards winning a war zone. Meltdown would be an example of a strategic alert and will likely be the first one the rework has to maintain familiarity and continuity. Now the real change comes with the introduction of tactical alerts. Now these are less restrictive and more flexible they can be longer or shorter, or even a one-shot objectives up for grabs to whichever faction completes them first. Importantly, they also contribute towards conquering the war zone, and thus are meaningful worth considering appending time and effort on. One example of a tactical alert could be the appearance of a ghost bastion, which in addition to its ownership, erasing properties could also grant a large lump sum of capture weight to the faction that manages to destroy it. So I don't know if you guys have ever played League of Legends, but this kind of reminds me of how there's you have to destroy the opponent's nexus in order to win but there are things on the map that spawn and become available to kill to destroy in order to get a leg up on your opponent such as you know the dragon the baron you know things um in league of legends uh you know these little side missions and quests that play a huge role in the entirety of winning the actual continent we think this combination of multiple potential objectives some of the great potential value will create faction-wide dilemmas on which objectives are deemed the most important and how much to commit, if anything, to them. Hopefully this will encourage communication, not an outfit scale, interactions, decision making. Now I have to say, I play on Emerald and I know that I play on TR, Emerald. And uh, communication is not one of our strong points <laughs> for, for TR on Emerald um, within outfits. Um, it's great, but um, uh, across outfits, it's not so not so great. Something to be worked on. So this really reminds me of you know like we had hives at one point. Um, this seems a lot more interactive than hives. You know hives, you just went and built a base, got your 
got your points for that in order to you know win you needed so many you know there's so many high points even if you had the points to capture the uh to lock down the continent you need those hives but this seems a bit more interactive with things just spawning or different objectives to take it also reminds me of like you know max events and things like that and anomaly events where they just kind of spawn and pop up and you know and everyone is trying to fight to win this mini alert so that's what this kind of sounds like but they said it's going to be a rework so i'm not sure what exactly they're doing i wish they kind of gave some more examples so they finish off saying initial implementation of the rework will only have a reworked meltdown at the strategic objective as well as some tactical alerts that may or may not appear during any given campaign concentrating on a few things early will help us get the rework out more quickly and provide valuable feedback for a for future additions. Over time, we plan to add more strategic and tactical alerts to create a much more dynamic and interesting experience to the Planet Side 2 strategic layer. The system is open-ended enough to consider many suggestions, and our team is continuously trying new things. So this new team came in, you know, um, things were sold, things were bought, and we got this new group here, and we're getting the center rework, which was already in progress, um, you know, during the time that these guys bought it. So, I mean, what they're bringing up here, though, it's, it's, I think it's a good thing. I don't know about you guys, but um, they're communicating with us. They're sharing ideas. They want ideas. I think what they're doing is good. I think we're going down a, a good path here. Um, of course, once they release this stuff and, and try it out, are people going to hate it? Of course, because they have nothing else to do but hate something that they play for eight plus hours a day. But aside from that, I think this is a positive for planet side too. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. If you guys are looking forward to this, if you think it's, it's, it's going to take, you know, I mean this, I mean what, what they're saying now is, is great, but I feel like in the community we're given great news and then it, it takes not just six months, but a year to get something. I mean, it's, it's taken almost what a year for the Sunday rework, right? I mean, maybe not a full year, but it's taken a while. And I know there's not a lot of people working on this game right now but um i'm optimistic with what they are saying with this and i mean i've said it before i was uh when they were talking about bringing the new construction stuff i was optimistic at that oh look at this new construction stuff you know they're sharing pictures and models this is great oh planet side two and then we actually got it and we're like you know oh we want our old old toys back we want our single modules we don't you know what what is this but the alert system is probably the biggest one of the biggest things in this game so them talking about changing or doing a rework on it is i think going to be fantastic so i'm excited to see what they do but that's it for me um i don't know if i'll make too many of these videos i'm pretty busy uh right now so uh but i'll try to do what i can all right so you guys have a good one and i'll see you next time